Bats have a bad reputation as evil creatures of the night. Let's talk about little brown bats, learn to identify them, and debunk some bat myths. We will also focus on ways to humanely evict them from your home and why you should put up a bat house. Two types of brown bats are common in the U.S. They are similar, but they are different species. The big brown bat is twice the size of the little brown bat and gets four to five inches from nose to tail, while little brown bats are 2.5 to 4 inches long, so about the size of your thumb. The little brown bat ranges across much of the United States into Canada. There are five subspecies. They live in colonies, and an average colony contains up to 9,000 individuals, although colonies over 100,000 have been recorded in some locations. They occupy caves and abandoned mines, also man-made buildings, which we will talk about in a minute. Their wings are quite strong, but their legs are weak. They fly 3.4 miles per hour, or 5.5 kilometers. Hi, I'm Amy. Happy New Year! This year, my goal is to make a wildlife video on Wednesdays and a gardening video for Saturdays. My next book will launch soon. I'm at 254 pages on a complete guide to growing vegetables for my Zone 6 friends. Thanks to everyone who supported me as a YouTuber and as an author this past year. Please subscribe and help me grow. Bats use echolocation to find food and to navigate around objects. These high frequency See, sounds are emitted 20 times per second. It is untrue that bats will fly into you. They know you are there. Bats are nocturnal and hunt insects. Mosquitoes are one of their favorite foods, but they also eat mayflies, moss, spiders, and beetles. The little brown bat is referred to as a mouse-eared bat. They have an excellent hearing range, which spans nine octaves. That's higher than most mammals. And no, they are not blind. Check out this guy's thumb. That's the claw on their wing. Bats don't have many enemies other than humans, but owls are one. Great horned owls will hunt bats. Bats do get parasites and unfortunately diseases. Until recently, the little brown bat was considered common. They were put on the ICUN endangered species list in 2021 because of severe drops in population. An estimated 1 million little brown bats have died in the past decade due to white nose fungus, considered one of the worst wildlife diseases in modern times. This cold-loving fungus grows rapidly in the bat's winter hibernaculum, depleting their energy stores. It came from Europe and first appeared in 2006 in New York. You may think, huh, they're just bats. But in reality, their death has a big economic impact on farmers because they eat so many pest insects. Humans can spread white nose syndrome on our clothing and hands, so stay out of caves where bats are hibernating in the winter. Remember, come summer, we want them to be eating pesky mosquitoes. Report unusual bat behavior to your state natural resource agency or go on Animal Help Now to locate a wildlife rehabilitator. Concerning bat behavior, such as seeing them out when they should be hibernating, roughly December through March, and bats roosting in the sunlight or flying in the middle of the day is unusual. Bats unable to fly or struggling to get off the ground are in crisis and need intervention. Never handle bats, little brown bats, without thick gloves. Even though less than 1% of bats carry rabies, it is not worth taking a risk. Little brown bats have small teeth, but any frightened animal may bite you. 
Bats, like a variety of other animals, will take up residence in our homes. The most common time of the year for little brown bats is actually spring, when females are looking for a place to raise their young. Bats in our homes are typically undesirable. Bat guano makes great organic fertilizer, but maybe not when it's in your attic. If you smell an ammonia smell in your attic, you may have bat friends. Let's talk about keeping bats out of houses. Winter is the best time to bat-proof a home as most bats prefer to hibernate in cooler caves or mines. Older homes often have small holes and cracks, especially around windows. Caulk up any holes around windows, electrical wires, and vents. A little brown bat can get through a very tiny space. Be diligent. Make sure you check the screening around vents and windows. Check around gutters and fascia. These are also popular places for squirrels to enter homes. So you've kicked the bats out of your home, but you still want your bug-eating friends to be neighbors. Put up a bat house. Little brown bats are good candidates for bat houses. They like to be up high, so mounted on a pole. The house should be 15 to 20 inches tall with sections two inches apart. I will put some links in the description for both building and purchasing them. Check out my other wildlife videos. Hopefully, YouTube is showing you one right now that you find interesting. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. Have a fabulous day and a wonderful new year.